Who is this man? What church is this? He was like a god to me. We all thought we were in heaven, but we were in hell, and in hell, terrible things happen. I can see! Oh, God! The spiritual power of T.B. Joshua hypnotizes people. His reputation globally was enormous. The whole world has never seen something like this. Since 1987, T.B. Joshua built an empire through widely televised performances of apparent miracles. Joshua invested more than 90% of what we got in VHS videos. I was stepping into those videos. The miracles, the praying, the crowds. It was this, like, insane euphoria. He loved young ones, teenagers. They are very vulnerable, and they are the easy people to manipulate. He promoted himself as a prophet who could heal the sick and provide salvation. These people with cancers and, and growths being vulnerable and desperate. Their ailments, their sicknesses, their suffering was evidentially real. Here was somewhere where breast cancer wasn't a death sentence. Here was hope. It's faked. Those people are being fed medication to get you know, speedy recovery. What you just see is the before and the finality. I know because I was synagogue chief video editor. Everything he does is planned. You think that that thing just happened the same day. Some of them took span of one year, six months. I've never seen any crippled person that was healed in synagogue church. Eventually, his disciples decided to expose him. It was like I had a blindfold on. And in that one moment, suddenly, I was like, whoa, he's not a holy man. It's very difficult when you begin to dissect the fact that these miracles were staged, because then you have to start understanding that people died who didn't have to. Some people will ask, you know all this. Why were you still there? It's difficult to explain. I thought I was doing something that will help to build the faith of people in the church.